Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing like 14 or so gold rec packs in Halo 5. Now, I can already sense the comments are going to be super negative because it's a microtransaction. So, I'm going to quickly, like two seconds here, explain why I'm buying these rec packs. Number one, I got the game for free, so I don't mind dropping a few bucks on a couple of uh, the rec packs. Number two, I'm a huge, huge Halo fan, and a portion of the proceeds of these microtransactions go to support the Halo Championship Series or the, the World Series, whatever it's called now. And I just want some cool customization stuff in the game, and I don't mind dropping the extra couple bucks, especially if I'm making a video for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are very interested in the kind of stuff you can unlock in these gold rack packs. I'm going to go there right now. I have purchased, pre-purchased 10 of them. I have 30,000 rec points, which will guarantee me another 3. And then I'll hopefully sell some stuff and maybe get enough points to get another one. Let's just get started opening some of these rec packs. As you can see on screen, I have 10 right now. So the way I hope to do these, I'm going to try to go through them at a ratherly, like, fast pace. And then I'm going to go into my actual collection, look through some stuff, sell these stuff that I don't need, like a million needlers and mongoose and ghosts, which I guarantee you I'm going to get. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. First pack, let's go. Bam. Gold pack, processing. We did not get a legendary. We got an SMG variant. We got an emblem, pretty useless. Whiplash. I'm going to go through later and sell all this stuff. First pack was a dud. Absolutely nothing in the first pack. Second gold pack. Processing. Let's see. I got a Lawgiver certification. It looks pretty cool. It seems to be... Uh, I don't know what kind of weapon this is. It looks like a shotgun from just the bear, like, just looking at it. So I got the certification for that, which means I can unlock more of them. I got another emblem and somewhat useless stuff. Mostly all I'm going to be keeping is, like, snipers. And like occasional uh, vehicles and stuff. I when I play Warzone, I don't really use much other than the the BRs that you spawn with, or the DMRs. I occasionally will spawn myself a sniper rifle or a vehicle like a Scorpion. Sometimes a Warthog if I'm playing with a friend. So yeah, two duds so far. <laughs> I think the legendary rates like one in three. No more, no legendaries here. We got a Hydra certification as well as another emblem. I, I was hoping for more, I was hoping for visors, uh, assassinations, and stances, those are rare. I really don't want emblems at all. Um, so hopefully we'll get a few less emblems, obviously we'll get some more ghosts and scorpions in here, uh, arena jackpot, random weapons, stuff like that. Not a very good pack, so uh, pretty much three duds. Let's see, okay we got a rare, we got a few rares, I got rocket pot certification, that's an ultra rare. Not a legendary, but ultra rare. Got yet another emblem. Hydro Launchers, Ghosts, Fuel Rods, Scorpions, Plasma Caster, uh, and then I got an Ultra Rare Arena RP Boost. I don't understand RP Boosts as Ultra Rares and Legendaries, because they only give you so much experience, and even if you get a Legendary Experience Boost, you don't get enough experience to level up, and even if you level up, all you get is like a Bronze Pack, so they, the whole formula of their value makes no sense. I might just end up selling them. Uh, is this the fourth or fifth? This is the fifth one coming up. I got some more rares. Warthog Goss certification. I got a, finally, a new visor. Um, I skipped all the other stuff by accident, apparently. Let's open up another pack here. This is pack number six. Got another rare in here. Uh, energy sword certification. I got a chest piece, plasma turrets, a Goss Warthog, um, and some weapons and stuff. Number six... Or seven. This is seven. I can't count. I got a cool helmet. Oh, my microphone. Man down. Man down. Uh oh, I turned my TV off. Sorry, guys. Fuck. Got a spiral pistol weapon skin. And then the typical junk you lit. Oh, and an arena XP boost for my legendary. I have gotten four legendaries in this game, all of them boosts. Worst luck ever. Not a single mythic class like anything just legendary xp boosts and like i said they're completely useless because they don't give you enough xp to make a legitimate difference in your level this is gonna be number eight gold pack i got a stance that's cool <laughs> sorry about that i got a stance i got a helmet it's pretty cool hydro launcher energy sword rocket pod um, and some other random stuff. Number nine. Got some more rares. I got a steel 
weapon skin for an AR, which is pretty cool. Got a really cool looking like jet pilot helmet. Goss turret. These last few packs have been a lot better in terms of customization, which was hope which is what I was hoping for. Gold pack number 10. Spartan laser certification. Meh. Pioneer chess piece. Uh, and a bunch of garbage. Uh, now we're gonna go and use my rec points. I have 29,000. I'm gonna use the first 20,000 to buy gold packs. Alright. Scattershot certification. Chest piece. Rocket pod. Goss turret. And at the very end, another legendary XP boost. That's five legendary XP boosts. Not a single legendary weapon or class item of any kind. Uh, gold pack number 11, uh, 12. I uh, just got some rares in here. Long shot AR. I don't know why anyone would want that. I guess it's not the worst thing ever, but I think it unlocks at like tier 3, so you might as well spawn with the BR. Goblin chest piece, energy sword, a few goss turrets. The goss turrets, the only good thing about them, I guess, is they sell for 150, which isn't the worst thing ever. Now let's go to my collection. So far, I'm not very happy. <laughs> um, let's see. Helmet-wise, I unlocked... What? Let's... Let's first sell some weapons and stuff. I don't need six energy swords because I don't use them. I definitely don't need 12 fuel rod cannons. Let's go down to like four because I don't, I'm probably never going to use them. Uh, hydro launchers, they're okay, but I don't think I need, you know, 11 of them. So let's sell those as well. Needlers, plasma casters. Plasma caster, let me, let me set this straight. Plasma caster. One of the most useless weapons in Halo 5, in my opinion, especially as a power weapon on some of the maps. Like, the rig has it as a power weapon. It's not a very good weapon, in my opinion. Do I need six random weapons? No. Random random stuff is my least favorite thing in this game. Just because I don't like that possibility that I get something really bad. Uh, I don't need these some of these rockets. Heavy turret pad thing. We can just sell a few of them because they're worth so much. Appetite for Destruction is pretty good. Saw, but again, I don't need 10 of them. Scattershot, Lawgivers. Lawgiver looks pretty cool. I have 18 sniper rifles. I'm going to keep those. Spartan lasers. Uh, now let's go to vehicles. I have 9 Goss turrets. Let's sell like 5 of them. They seem cool, but they don't seem like I'm going to be using them. 21 Ghosts. 21 Ghosts. They, I think they just want you to always be in a Ghost. Uh, let's sell, like, most of these ghosts. They need a- they need a way to sell, like, 15 of these at the same time. Alright. Uh, let's just keep selling a few things. I don't think I'm gonna get enough to get another two packs. Probably only one more pack. I have 21 scorpions. The thing is, like, you unlock so many- you unlock scorpions at a rate that's exponentially higher than the amount you can spend in a game. You unlock, like three every pack and you can get a pack like every game well not every game you can get a lot of packs and then you'll end up with so many more scorpions than you can possibly ever use power-ups 19 active shield get camos let's sell like most of them if i'm gonna be spending my points i'm gonna be spending them on like a weapon and not really i don't know active camo it can be useful it's just really annoying when you spend all your points on active camo you run into the base and they see you and you die right away which I guess is true for any weapon realistically um, fuck I'm gonna need to sell something I probably don't want to sell to get an extra couple like a thousand rec points just to get up to uh, 20,000 here let's see what do I not need I don't need six ghosts I don't need four of these I don't need five of these don't need seven scorpions and then weapon wise let's see here fuel rod cannons I hate them let's just get rid of them needlers they're cool but not gonna use them whiplash cool not gonna use it heavy turret all right we have 20,000 let's open two more packs you guys ready this is it this is basically this is gonna be 13 and 14 I've gotten like two stances four helmets, and a couple chess pieces. Not a single cool legendary thing. Let's hope for the best. Here comes pack number lucky 13. Okay, I got some rare stuff. I got a DMR. I got a chest piece. 
Sniper rifle, scorpion, ghost turret over all this random crap. More ghost turrets. These ghost turrets are like the new scorpion and ghost. They're rare, which is cool. But like, obviously they're not that rare because I have like 15 of them. Gold pack number 14. Will I get anything good or not? Nope, just rare stuff. I got the hailstorm certification and a chest piece, scatter shot, a bunch of ghosts, and a bunch of random crap. Alright guys, so basically all 14 were a dud. Again, I don't mind it. Um, you know, I got some cool customization stuff I can hopefully use. I'm gonna check it out right now. Let's go. Uh, armor. So I got, I think, seven armor pieces. This one. This one looks kind of cool, but it has like the permanent yellows on it. But it looks cool. That one looks okay. I like that one a lot. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this one. This is just another variant of this. It's the same thing, but with a stripe. Um, helmet-wise, I did get this really cool, like, this helmet, which I like a lot. I'm gonna equip that. Visor colors, I got this green, which is just a brighter green of the dark green I have, but I like it better than the green I currently have. Not the worst thing ever, I guess. And then Spartan ID... I got a stance, I want to say. Yeah, I got this stance. That's okay. It looks kind of weird. It looks like he's has like a wrist problem, like he has carpal tunnel or arthritis. Um, and then I got a, a lot of emblems. I got, and they're all kind of like lemon head. I'm not going to use that ever. A pear? Never going to use that. I'd rather just a random shape than a pear or like an eagle. Anyways, guys. You know what? Thank you for watching. If you found the video how, like somewhat entertaining, if you enjoyed the the idea of watching someone open rec packs, let me know by dropping a like, drop a comment. If this video is like wildly successful, I will do another one, but realistically, I just wanted to do kind of the one-off video. Hopefully, you found it, you know, useful or whatever. Uh yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.